Hello, I'm Dr. Teresa Oswald from Knowledge is Medicine, and I'm in a bit of a reflective mood here uh, as I'm spending some time by a pond on a nice fall day. And I want to talk to you about something that I think is the healthiest thing you can do for yourself, which is meditation. And I want to talk a little bit about how to get started and why you would want to do this. And so I call this my plug for unplugging because meditation allows you to unplug from your normal thoughts and activities. And being on a pond is kind of a nice analogy for meditation because the meditative mind is often talked about as a pond. So right now you notice there's some ripples on top of the water, but we know that um, those ripples can turn into bigger waves in our mind and the ripples could be thought of as uh, the activity in our mind. So sometimes our mind is just slightly active. Sometimes there's a torrent or um, gale force uh, um, winds and uh, waves in our mind. But even at this pond, if that was occurring, deep underneath the surface, there's a, an area where there's calm and stillness, even when there's waves on top. They even say things like, still waters run deep. So the ripples and the waves on top can be there. Um, we can have them settle down a little bit by relaxing and focusing on our breath. But even if there's turbulence in the forefront of our mind, underneath there's an inherent peaceful, calm, still place. And that's what we're looking for when we're meditating. When we sit for meditation, we have an ability to let the ripples settle a little bit and we can access the stiller depths. There's also another metaphor that the pond represents. Um, much like a, a glass that has some pond water in it, if you take it out initially, it may be kind of um, murky uh, or cloudy. But if you let that same glass sit on a surface very still, the sediment from the pond will settle to the bottom and you can see clearly through the water, it's clearer. So meditation also allows us to have a, a settling, not just going deeper, but a settling of our thoughts and feelings to allow us to see what's going on underneath. And what's going on underneath the thoughts and feelings, it tends to be the same for all of us living creatures. It's a sense of contentment, calm, um, peaceful state, or tranquil state. So that's kind of my plug for the why, uh, why we meditate using this pond. And now I'm just going to tell you how. So uh, meditation can be very simply performed. It doesn't have to be very elaborate or very exotic. You just sit with your head neck and trunk straight, normally not resting on the back of a chair or a surface, but if you really need that support to keep the alignment of your spine, head, neck, and trunk, then you can, you can use that. But the goal is to strengthen the muscles around the spine so that that's, you're no longer needing a surface to lean against. That just allows you to be able to meditate in a you know, variety of areas with that alignment, then we focus on our breathing. And you can put your hands right on your belly. And as you inhale, you'll feel your belly expand. And as you exhale, the belly goes back to its starting point. And that is a way to check in with yourself that you're breathing using your diaphragm. And that's called diaphragmatic breathing. With the diaphragmatic breathing in place, then we just pay attention to the sensation of our breath as we breathe in and breathe out. After a while, this focus on the breath can be, become less novel to the mind, and at that point is a good time to add a mantra into the practice. But to start, just good a, a postural alignment Diaphragmatic breathing and following each in-breath and each out-breath will initiate the meditative response. So I hope you liked this plug for unplugging. If this content is interesting and helpful, please like and subscribe.
This is Dr. Teresa Oswald at Knowledge is Medicine.